Hey guys, Coach Kubler here. I want to show you another hitting drill that I like to use a lot. Um, it's called the connection drill. When you do a lesson with me, um, you'll hear me talk about the connection drill over and over again, or you'll hear me t tell you to stay connected. And that means your hands, you, wanna let, you don't want to let your hands get away from your body when you're hitting. You want to keep them a little bit closer. And you also want them to work with your back shoulder. You don't want them to separate from your back shoulder and work independently of your back shoulder. They want to work together so we can create more of a rotational swing at the beginning. That's going to help you stay inside the ball a little better. It's also going to help you pull the ball and hit it hard to the pull side, middle, and away. So here's the drill. When you get set up with a wide stance, we're not even going to step. Okay, We're not going to stride. We'll cut that out and keep it simple. Let's keep our younger hitters a little bit more simple. Okay, that's, that's one of my philosophies when I'm teaching hitting. So I like to take the part of the bat just above my grip at the end of, a, at the, end of the tape here. And I stick that right on the side of my shoulder. Keep my elbows apart. Let's keep it stuck, keep it connected. Okay, I'm gonna take the knob, I'm gonna point it at the ball, but notice how I'm turning in with my hands. And I'm staying, literally staying connected here with the bat. So I'm gonna turn in toward the ball, I'm gonna turn back, so that the knob is toward the catcher's feet, and then from here I'm going to swing. And I'll do it slow at first. Back, and then I'm going to swing. Okay? I really want to keep it short, keep the swing compact. Do it again. This time I'll do a little faster. Okay? Again, keep this connected to the side of my shoulder as long as you can. Alright. Rotate in, back. There we go. That's the connection drill. Do that over and over again. Get that muscle memory. And then you can go back to you know, your regular swing and your regular load. And you can have a little bit more freedom here with your hands. But when it's time to get, you get to your load and then start that approach, we need to work everything together. Or at least the back shoulder and the hands need to work together. Okay? So give that a shot. Let me know what you think. And I hope it helps out, helps your hitter.